All right, so um, I just wanted to show you something that I want you to describe for my followers. So what can you see at the moment? Sure, I can describe what I see. I see a calendar for the year 2025 that appears to be on a desk. There are some dates that are circled with a blue marker. The calendar is white and has small hexagonal calendars for each month. There is also a logo of the company Sam Pharmaceutical on it. I'm going to give you another product that I want you to describe. You would like me to describe another product. I'm ready right. when you are. All right, so what do you think you can see here? All right, I see a jar of Vaseline Blue Seal Petroleum Jelly on a wooden desk. There's also a pile of papers and books behind it and a piece of what might be tissue to the left of the jar. Would you like me to describe anything else? Imagine having a friendly AI assistant that not only chats with you, but can also interpret what you show it and analyze complex ideas and even discuss things right on your screen. For example, for someone, for someone who is interested in going to the engineering field and to be very specific, I want him to go and study civil engineering. So what on what subjects do you recommend he focused on at the secondary school level? I can suggest some subjects to focus on at the secondary school level for someone interested in civil engineering. They should focus on math, physics, and chemistry, which are the most relevant subjects to a civil engineering degree. Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore today. Uh, so stick around and I'll walk you through how to connect with Gemini AI 2.0 and show it something in real time and engage in a deep, mind-blowing conversations with it. Uh, so this can help you redefine how you work and how you create stuff. So let's get started. So to start with, all you need is to open your browser and just come anywhere within the search bar and just search for Google um, AI Studio, just like so. I hit on enter and we brought in over to this very platform. Or alternatively, you can go to aistudio.google.com. You can just log in with any of your Google account and it is still going to take you to this very platform. Now, one of the key things that you can create with this Gemini 2.0 is the fact that you can be able to click start from creating a prompt. You can create a prompt and one of the best things is you can give system instructions, specifically what do you want the prompt to um, be specific about. You can specify the number of wordings. You can specify the, the style of response. You want it to be friendly, almost theoretical, almost scientific. You can define all that from here while you give your basic prompts from here. So for example, I can say the most scientific and are friendly, right? And then down here, I can give instructions like, um, write an essay about the solar system, for example. And then over here, you can see we can choose between the available models. But for this, I chose to go with the, the Gemini 2.0, which is the most sensitive at the moment. And then down here, you have the number of tokens that you have available. You can specify the sensitivity or the creativity of the model. Over here, I choose to keep everything at default at the moment, right? Everything is being kept at default. Now, over here, this is the prompt and this is the system instructions. I want it to be more scientific and friendly. And then you can come down here and just click on run. And it's just going to take in some very, very uh, few seconds. And you can see how fantastic it is giving us response as regards to questions we've asked it. It's a very simple question. And then you can see the detail of what it has given us. So you have the a range of other things that you can do. For example, you can copy this text and edit it, or you can regenerate it or rerun it to have another idea to this. Or you can also click here to have more options, like you can delete the text, you can copy the text, or you can uh, copy Markdown or the about. And you can specify the other features, other things that you may need over here, like the output length, how much length you want it to go. And then the, you can add stop sentences if you're interested as well. Now, this is very basic. This is generic uh, as regards what you can do. You can also, also always save your easy from here um, you can give it a name solar system easy which is okay um, 
by Dr. Ashut, for example. But you can give any other name and you can give any other description that you think might um, describe or make you better understand this particular search that you are, you are, you are making. Uh, as, uh, you can have it as part of your, your details. All right. So the next thing, which is the most important thing that I want to show you today is how to actually interact with the Gemini 2.0 real time. Now to do that, you can come to uh, stream real time and over here you can see you can talk to Gemini you can show Gemini something and then you can share your screen and Gemini is directly going to interpret and analyze whatever is on your screen so we can go ahead and let's just we start with the most basic one let's say we want to talk to Gemini hello Gemini can you give me the temperature of Nigeria today I cannot give you the temperature of Nigeria today I do not have access to current information, like the current temperature. Is there anything else I can help you with? All right. So, for example, um, for someone who is a scientist, uh, what kind of courses can you suggest for him to study at the university level? I can suggest some courses for a scientist to study at the university level. They could consider studying advanced topics in their specific field, such as physics, chemistry, or biology. Or they could focus on related fields like mathematics or computer science. Do you have a specific field of science in mind? Would you like me to recommend any other subjects? That's very perfect. I really like your response. But then, um, what can you say about the job prospects of someone who has studied civil engineering? How can you inspire the student to be able to get ready for that particular course? I can tell you about the job prospects for someone who has studied civil engineering. Civil engineers are in high demand, and they can work in a variety of different fields, such as construction, transportation, or environmental engineering. Would you like me to elaborate on these fields? I think I'm okay with this. I'm just using you for just illustration purpose for one of my tutorials. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, at this time. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good day. Now that's perfect and you can see we have a real-time conversation with the AI um, giving me answers and I'm asking it questions, real-time questions and it's giving me fantastic answers. So that's the first step. Let's go to the second step where we're going to show it some, some, some things and it's going to carry out some analysis for us. So let's go with um, sharing our screen, all right? So let's go back. So for sharing your screen, you can click on share your screen, you can select, you can share your tab, you can share the, the windows, or you can share the entire screen. Depending on you, what kind of um, um, screen you want to show to, to, the, to the AI. So for example, at this time, I want to show uh, this entire screen, okay? So I can select this entire screen and say share. You are explaining how to share your screen. You mentioned you can share a tab, a window, or the entire screen and that you want to share your entire screen at this time. Is there anything specific you'd like to show me? Sure, sure, sure. I want to show you an Excel sheet that I want you to just quickly analyze it for me. So can you take a look? What do you see here? Okay, I see you have a Google Sheet open titled Analytics Dashboard. It contains several charts, including distance over time, pace over time, top 10 morning and evening runs, histogram of elevation, and total runs. It looks like running data. Is there anything in particular you want me to analyze? No, no, no. This is just very basic. I just wanted you to know to, and I'm using you for tutorials actually for people to get to know how powerful you can be in terms of um, a real-time conversation. I'm really happy for this uh, with your response. So can you just uh, give me this one more response? What kind of screen do you see here? And what can you tell me that this is all about? Okay, I understand. You're using me for tutorials to show people the power of real-time conversations with an AI. I. After the Google Sheet, I see you've moved to a screen with a website called Text to Speech Free. It seems you can enter text to have it converted to voice using different voices. There's also an option to add background music. Is this the functionality you wanted to demonstrate? Yeah, yeah, just that. Yes, I want to show you, uh, show my followers that you can actually read screen 
that you should share and you can give analysis of whatever is on that screen. So thank you so much for, for, for this analysis, for this conversation rather. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So you wanted to show your followers that I can read the screen you're sharing and provide analysis. And we did that with the Google Sheet and the text-to-speech website. Is there anything else you want to demonstrate for your tutorial? Well, at this moment, thank you so much and goodbye. Have a nice day. All right, you're very welcome. Have a great day as well and good luck with your tutorials. So you can see the power of how this guy can be very specific and very sensitive to things. You show it and he, you discuss things with it. So let's go to the last part, which is um, one of the uh, most interesting one I have actually liked, which is to show Gemini something and then allow it to see something out of it. All right. So um, I just wanted to show you something that I want you to describe for my followers. So what can you see at the moment? Sure, I can describe what I see. I see a calendar for the year 2025 that appears to be on a desk. There are some dates that are circled with a blue marker. The calendar is white and has small hexagonal calendars for each month. There is also a logo of the company Sam Pharmaceutical on it. I'm going to give you another product that I want you to describe. You would like me to describe another product. I'm ready right. when you are. All right, so what do you think you can see here? All right. I see a jar of Vaseline Blue Seal Petroleum Jelly on a wooden desk. There's also a pile of papers and books behind it and a piece of what might be tissue to the left of the jar. Would you like me to describe anything else? All right, so um, what can you see? Um, I have a, a, a microphone here. It's a um, H1N microphone. Can you see it? Yes, I see a black H1N microphone on a small tripod along with its cable plugged into it. The microphone is in front of a jar of Vaseline and a stack of papers on a wooden desk. Is there anything else I can describe? So do you know about this microphone and can you tell me some of its capabilities? I understand you're asking about the capabilities of the H1N microphone. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to look up specific product information or specifications, so I'm unable to provide details about its capabilities at this time. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not at this moment, but the last thing I want you to just kind of quickly um, tell me about is about this cup. I've got this cup always and I used to take some tea with it. Can you tell me what size, um, what shape is it? Okay, the mug appears to be a standard size and it's cylindrical in shape with a gold handle. It has a white background and is decorated with a repeating pattern of orange circles. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you so much. And I think this does it for this conversation. I'm really happy and thank you so much for being so realistic and in-depth into your analysis. So sadly, I appreciate this. Welcome. It was my pleasure. If you need anything else, feel free to ask. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so you can see how powerful and fantastic you can go as regards the conversations that you can have with this wonderful AI. And I think you can just go ahead, sign up and just try it on your own and see how fantastic you can have uh, some of the access to this. And one of the things I want to emphasize here is that you have the option to kind of download the conversations at any given point. You can play around with the playback speed and you can download any of the conversations and keep that for yourself or you can use it ahead of time or for some other things. And over here, you can push to change the kind of Farida or the person that responds to you and then the output format. Do you want it to be in, in audio or in text format? Like you can change that also as you start. You can change the output format from audio to text and you can change the voice, um, the voice over who reads, who conversates with you directly. You have the power to change all that from here. So this is how fantastic and powerful this can be. We can work with any of them and we can type, okay, um, talk to Gemini. You can talk with Sean how to talk, you give system instructions, you can type directly. Or you can talk, talk to Gemini or show Gemini directly or share your screen for quick analysis and so on. And then down here, you have the starter apps, which you can use to understand many other features that you can explore 
and see for yourself. For example, spatial understanding of 2D, 3D spatial analysis, it can carry out all this for you. You can have video analyzer, an interactive video player that lets you summarize and describe scenes and extract text, search for objects and many, many more things from here. You can have map explorer, you can explore places using the Gemini and Google Maps uh, connected together. Now, this actually shows us the basics of what to expect when actually dealing with the Gemini. Okay, so just the challenge is you can go ahead on your own, see what you can do, how you can explore things, and then see how you can play around with it to your own advantage, depending on what kind of content you are creating or what kind of use do you have specifically as regards this, um, this AI feature. So this concludes this very simple tutorial about how to use the Google AI Studio to your own advantage as a creator or as a scientist or as a researcher or someone who is interested in having direct lifetime, um, real-time conversation with an AI. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.